Today we'll be unboxing the new Asus ZenBook Pro 15. Just a quick run through of the specs, the model we have has a 15.6 inch nano edge 4K UHD display which is also a touch screen. It is Pantone validated and 100% Adobe RGB. It has a 8th gen Intel Core i9 CPU, a GTX 1050 Ti for all your gaming needs, and 1 TB PCIe SSD of storage with 16 gigs of RAM. And of course, if you didn't know already, a secondary display which is also a trackpad, aptly named the ScreenPad. And today we're going to share with you what exactly the ScreenPad can do. So the ScreenPad is a 5.5 inch 1080p touchscreen. Uh, it basically can act as a extension of media apps such as YouTube, Spotify and any other media players. You can pause and play and scroll through its progress bar with relative ease. Um, side note, you have to install the YouTube extension on Google Chrome for it to work with YouTube. Besides media players, it also works well with Microsoft Office apps. What it essentially does is that it adds a shortcut toolbar to ease the workflow. Hopefully this will be implemented to more applications in the future, which I believe ASUS is working on. By default, the toolbar contains apps such as calendars, calculators, as well as some media players. You can also customize which apps you want to see in the toolbar in the settings. In the settings, it also allows you to do something pretty cool, which is to change the background image of the screen pad to any image you want, which is very nice and it adds that little personal touch. You can also use the screen pad as a secondary display, which means you can drag any window down to the screen pad. And essentially, you can watch a video down here while playing a video game in the main screen. Or if you're feeling adventurous, play a video game in the screen pad instead. And if all these features are too fancy-pantsy for you, then you can turn it off and have it as a normal touchpad. But then that raises the question, why did you get this in the first place? All in all, I think the screen pad is a very interesting feature, and I'm eager to see what Asus can bring to the table once there are more supported apps. But as of right now, as it is, I think it already brings a lot of convenience to the user. But let me know what you think of the screen pad in the comment section below. So like this video if you like it, subscribe to us if you haven't already, hit the bell to get notified of our future videos and I'll see you guys next time.